friends. It's the last day of January. Thought I would share with you my January thrift store finds. Did find a whole lot this month. It's got to the point to where I kind of highly scrutinize things more so than I used to. It's got to be something I really like or a really good buy or something I need. I'm just going to show you what I found. Uh, this is uh, one, another one of those grab bags I found at Goodwill. This is a perfect example of how I build up my stash. This thing is just cram packed full of some sewing tools thread zippers just all kinds of but lots of buttons in here if you've ever priced buttons they're ridiculously priced for you to buy new buttons so this is just a perfect example for two dollars i got all kinds of little sewing and craft goodies this right here is just a little metal sign and the inside of this sign is actually paper this word hope you know it's pretty the way it is but this is something that i actually could with a little warm water and alcohol get this white sticker this paper sticker off there and put my last name or you know i could uh, put uh, you know just embellish it however i want to with some vinyl letters i just thought this was really pretty and neutral and uh, i'll definitely at some point in time peel that off and redo that i just like the metal part of it this was just a little embellishment for 59 cents i bought it's just a little carved wood fleur-de-lis little symbols um, you could decorate picture frames ornament those i just i love that shape that's really popular and and i just you know i could find something to do with that for 59 cents here was something i definitely needed got a birthday party coming in a few weeks and we're gonna make some cake pops to go with our birthday cake and this is a brand new pack this is probably at least a couple dollars at walmart and i got the brand new bag for 59 cents this was a really cute thing. I got this whole gallon bag, and I knew what it was when I saw it, and so I grabbed it for $1.99. So for $2, I got uh, these little craft kits to make these little Santa ornaments. I went ahead and made one so I could show you what it looked like, but now I've still got seven of these little kits left with the beads and the string and all the little parts. All you need is a glue gun, and so whenever I have a craft night, I thought this would be cute to throw in because we probably wouldn't have more than seven people, but how cute is this? For two dollars, and I got uh, eight ornaments like this, so just I love this. I just fell in love with those. Those are kind of like those kits that come from Oriental Trading, if you're wondering where something like that comes from. I picked up two of these brand new coffee mugs. This is great for the camper. Uh, we'll definitely use those, and it certainly doesn't hurt that they have a big orange tea on there, even though our team is not the greatest, but it's all about being a loyal fan. Here's another little grab bag I got. Um, it come with a pastry wheel, which I doubt I will use ever use that, because Lord knows I'm not making homemade raviolis or anything. And two really nice with a tag copper cookie cutters and then here's what the main reason why i bought it. i paid 2.99 for this bag and i was in a virtual cookie swap back before christmas and michelle at my everyday wife life made these really neat cookies made out of this kind of funnel cake batter and i went to look up these rosette irons is what they're called they were like 20 dollars for the set and i thought you know i don't really want to spend 20 dollars on something like that well i found this bag brand new i don't think it ever been used uh, and some of you may know exactly what these are but i've never seen them before but it has a, a star and a bell and a butterfly and this popular rosette but you dip it down in the batter and I But we learned that this is a, takes practice and there's a fine line between success and failure. You've just got to get the oil just right and the batter just right. I don't know. It was just a big pain in the butt for us. It's certainly a neat novelty thing. Michelle made it look so easy. But down here, honey, we cut up some canned biscuits and deep fry them and put powdered sugar or whatever on them. It's so much easier. But I love the look of this and I just jumped on this when I found it. So this may be going in a yard sale. I don't know. But it was just something neat to have. And I did did pay three dollars for it which was still an incredible bargain i picked up my granddaughter this little doll dress brand new these things if you've ever pressed a doll price doll clothes they are expensive i mean this little dress is probably at least five or six dollars at walmart no joke i got this for 59 cents she's got so many babies that i know one of her babies will fit into that and so i couldn't pass that up of course i had to add to my flag collection i paid a dollar 98 for this flag big ugly green witch riding a broom i've got several halloween flags but you know after a couple years they do start to weather some so it doesn't hurt to add to them and and it's getting to where you know 
those flags aren't as popular as they used to be and so I just don't find them very often but when I do I get them if they're brand new. I found this uh, really pretty just a dishcloth. I thought I love the print on it. It's very universal for September or November decorating. thought it was real pretty. I could use it as a kind of a runner or something in my fall decorating. I just thought it was real pretty with the pumpkins. Found this adorable garden flag. It was like brand new. I don't think it's ever been used outside. Happy Howl Days. I couldn't pass this up. I want to say they usually charge me like for a dish towel like seriously like 59 cents for these when I do find them uh, so I just couldn't pass him up he was too cute and the last thing I picked up was just this little wire I've seen these before they're usually coming Christmas sets of lotions and things I saw a girl on YouTube a while back a year or two ago made the prettiest arrangement with one of these wire star baskets like for fourth of july it was so pretty and so i may keep it silver i may spray paint it but i'm gonna just save this for something patriotic i thought that would be really cute for inside or outside so that is my january thrift store finds thanks for watching y'all bye bye